Welcome back to the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. In this week's roundtable discussion, the editors of Tennis Magazine serve up a debate on the influence of technology and how it's changed the game. The Editor's Roundtable is brought to you by Tennis Magazine. Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tennis Magazine Editor's Roundtable. I'm here with my colleagues, David Rosenberg and Steve Dingner. I'm Peter Bodo. Today we'll be talking about the effect of technology on tennis. It all really began with Pam Shriver at the US Open. At age 16, she reached the final against Chris Everett. She was playing with that lollipop size Prince Pro Aluminum Racket. That kind of opened a Pandora's box. Where are we today, fellas? Now in tennis, I mean, first you had, for so many years, like you were saying, starting with Shriver, and you had the oversized rackets, you had different materials, you had, you know, graphite became big, and then so on and so forth. And now you have, it's all about the strings. The last few years now we've had strings, so it feels like tennis is evolving. It's constantly evolving in every sort of way they can. I think it used to be, there used to be a big push to go back to wood rackets, but you don't, you don't hear much of that anymore. I think in the 80s or 90s there was an idea that the pro game had had gotten too too much about power, not enough about finesse, but it, it feels like that, that that's not true anymore. I think I think people have given up that idea and, and are happy with the, the way the sport is played now. Well that was a heyday of course of the Pete Sampras, Gorani Vanasevich, Wimbledon shootouts, you know, where you had guys just serving, it was like a rock fight basically, guys serving big bombs and you know nobody returning serve and stuff. You know, things have really, as Steve says I think have really changed quite a bit since then. I think, you know, uh, the way the game is developed, and one of the other interesting things that never gets credit when you talk about technology is the change in hard courts, in all courts in fact, but that's a kind of a decision matter on surfaces like clay and grass, but on hard courts they can fine tune these surfaces now to give a much greater variety. I think that one of the, also the biggest change and has a really big effect on the way people play is the change of Wimbledon. I don't know if you class it under technology, but the grass is, is much different, plays much much firmer. Uh, people don't have to have a specific game for grass anymore the way, the way they used to. Sampras developed his game just to win Wimbledon, but nobody does that anymore because the surface is much more like, like the other surface. Well, they talk about it now. I mean, every year you, they talk about where the, the, the most worn out part of the court is. And it used to be that right at that T going forward to the net. And now the it's split along step the baseline. Territory, yeah, right? the split step territory, exactly. Now you, don't, you just don't see that anymore. Now it's all along the baseline. And like you said, I think in the last the, the latest thing in the last 10 years, I think Gustavo Querton in 97 was the first person to use Luxalon strings or polyester strings, which have, not many people have talked about, but that's one of the reasons I think that, that the sport has gotten, it's gotten better to watch because of the spin they can create. It's not just power with the rackets now. Those strings help them, help them keep the ball in more and, and create more spin, more variety. Now you guys both play. Have you played with the, now the newest thing now is this black string that Nadal has been using and a few other, a lot of other players have gone to it, the polyester string. Have you guys played with these strings? Can you really give a, a hands-on idea of what these things play like? The polyester and it, it, it did help with spin. It does change. I mean, I, maybe it's just you think you're going to have that change so you play a little differently, but I noticed a difference. Yeah, for me, not, not really. Not really? Actually. No. No, I mean, I feel like I just sort of I haven't really noticed much change at all from. Well, you got to generate some arm speed, David, to get <laughs> yeah, to spin. Exactly. But of course, then we have the biggest change that's come down a pike, and that's been Hawkeye, the electronic line calling system. You, I can't believe either of you guys would have a negative thing to say about Hawkeye. No, it's been great. It's been a great. It's changed the way the players react. I think it's changed the way people think of tennis players. They're not, they're not the brats that they <laughs> they used to be. John, you know, John McEnroe would not be able to, would not have the same sort of personality on the court if you yeah. played the top guy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I also think that this whole idea of the, I think it shouldn't even be challenged. I think they should just have it up with the umpire. And if they call, I don't think there should be a limited amount of challenges with Except that. Except every, every call made with top guy. Well, I mean, I don't think every call, but I think if it's, a, if it's a call where you can question it, if the umpire feels like you can question it, you know, he or she can question it as well. Well, there's something we all have agreed upon is that Hawkeye has been a great addition to the game. That's it for another edition of Tennis Magazine Editor's Roundtable. Please join us again next time, and for all things tennis, visit tennis.com. This Editor's Roundtable discussion was brought to you by Tennis Magazine. Get exclusive tennis coverage online at tennis.com. Well, it's been an interesting week in the nation's capital at the Leg Mason Tennis Classic. It's been hot and humid and plenty of upsets. No more top seeds and no more Americans. But a pair of Grand Slam finalists, Marcus Bagdadis and David Nalbandian, are making a run. Join us next week on The World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas, at the Western Southern Financial Group Masters and Women's Open. I'm Justin Gimmelstab. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. <laughs>